Tech Day and Beyond, a new lovely Miss Lady Pop Hunter taking another look at what is upcoming in the adult collector's market, action figures, statues, vinyl, so on and so forth. And again, it's a pretty dry week. Mm -hmm. There's not that much, even Funko barely uh, scratching the surface. I think they made like two announcements this week mm. and they're, they're not that great either, in my personal opinion, but what are you going to do? But we'll go ahead and we'll get started, start taking a look at some of these things. This first one, obviously, that's Master Chief from Halo. And that's the M um, Mignoner Mark V, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, from 1000 Toys. 1000 Toys made this, and it is a 1 12th scale figure. Okay. $125. That's average. Well, it's a little high. It's just above average, really. But he comes with the gun and the sword and a couple of hand changes. They don't really show you much. Mm. Not even in much in the way of posing. He's probably kind of stiff, I imagine, because of the armor. You know, is that die cast? It does not say if it's die cast or not. Oh. But, you know, he looks bulky, so he, he might be kind of hard to maneuver. Yeah. This I thought was cool, and this is from Bandai, and it's mm -hmm. called the Bandai Cityscape. And this is for their SH Monster Arts line, because mm -hmm. you know they do like the seven inch tall kind of. It kind of looks like the the NECA stuff, mm -hmm. uh, Godzilla and things like that. And this is an entire city diorama, and all those pieces are movable. Okay. See, mm -hmm. this is how it comes. You get two couple of backdrops, a couple of uh, street scenes, and telephone poles, and buildings, and houses, and all sorts of things. Mm -hmm. And there's a couple of their Monster Arts figures in the diorama. Oh, okay. So basically, it's a diorama kit. 145 from Bandai. Yeah, but you can use that for other things. You could use it for other things yeah. if you want. If you had, uh, like, 12th scale Ultraman figures would, f would work with that, you mm -hmm. know. Anything that's supposed to be gigantic, I guess. Yeah. Giant Man <laughs> from uh, Marvel. From Beast Kingdom. The alien Buzz Lightyear, and that's an action figure, even mm -hmm. though uh, it, it looks like it's a swivel for his feet. He don't really have feet. <laughs> Interchangeable face sculpt, and uh, his arms are articulated, basically. His head can look from side to side. Six inches tall. It's like a Funko Pop. Yeah, that's probably counting the antenna, six inches. Yeah. Well, that's taller than a Funko Pop. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're, what, three, four inches? Three and a half inches, roughly. Mm -hmm. Sixty dollars, mm, nice. and they also did a Woody. <laughs> that, <laughs> a clothes, that, that mixed media. Yeah, it does actually. I'm not sure if it is, but it does look that way. And Woody's also sixty bucks. Mm. I just thought that was funny. Beast Kingdom also has the Fantasia Mickey Mouse. And you see interchangeable eyes, it says. I don't know how that works, but you can, I guess the eyes plug out I and guess. you can make them look in different directions. He's got the hat. I like how they cut the edges of the hat out so it slides down his ears. You see that? <laughs> Mixed media because that's an obvious robe he's yeah. wearing. He's eight inches tall mm -hmm. and he's a jointed action figure. He's $70. But wait, there's more. There's more. Because if you get an extra few bucks, a hundred dollars that is you can also get a second face mold see there's the open mouth version mm -hmm. plus you get the uh, the broom with the buckets so it's a face plate yeah you get an, an additional face plate on top of the eyes oh, okay and then you get the uh, the little mop guy mm -hmm. who looks like a figurine basically he doesn't look like he moves but so, yeah, an extra, what, $30? $30 for a couple of extra pieces. Oh, and the stand, too. Yeah. You get the, you get the stand. Eight inches. Mm. Blitzway. I don't know. I'm kind of tempted by this one. <laughs> Blitzway, one twelfth scale Inspector Gadget cartoon version. Well, you do the, uh, the 12 scale, so it fits Yeah, in. it would fit in, and it's not the movie version, mm -hmm. the live action movie version, which never should have happened, but uh, <laughs> it is the original cartoon Inspector Gadget. Face plate changes instead of head changes, which, you know, I'm not a fan of that. Mm -hmm. uh, different eyes. You see he's got an extra pair of eyes there. Various hands, like the screwdriver finger and stuff, and 
roller skates and stilt legs and stilt arms and the brick wall, umbrella, helicopter, the whole nine yards is here. $90. That's not a bad price. Yeah, that's right in the wheelhouse of a, of a 12 scale figure right mm -hmm. now. And if you really wanted to go all out, yes, they, oh. they do have Brain and Penny. Now Although, that would make it cool. Yeah, to have them standing next to him. Mm -hmm. It's 70 for the pair. Uh huh. All right. But they are not action figures. They're oh, figurines. They're yeah, you see, still. you could change her head out mm -hmm. and you can swap the arms to make her holding the book or holding, you know, doing different things. Mm -hmm. And you have the costume, one of the disguises for Brain, mm -hmm. but they don't move. So they're accessories to the action figure. Mm -hmm. 70 bucks here. And what was the other one? 90. 90. So that's where you're at. It would be tempting to get this, even though you can't do much with them, mm -hmm. just because they belong with Inspector Gadget, yeah. you know? Blitzway also has Jimi Hendrix, and this is a sixth scale action figure. Mm -hmm. And that's a really good help head sculpt, though. Yeah. Mixed media, they even got real hair, rooted hair on him. Early bird pre-order bonus. If you pre-order it, they'll give you the hat. Okay. You see it there. Mm -hmm. Mic stand and medallions and different hands and boot change out, guitar, <laughs> all of that stuff. Out. Yeah, he's got all that stuff there. One thing that I thought was kind of disappointing, uh -huh. there is only that portrait. You do not get an extra head. Oh, okay. It's two ninety. So That's it's on the bad. yeah, it's on the higher end. Well, the prices are getting up there on this mm -hmm. stuff though. But two hundred and ninety. I wish he had a different portrait. I wish you could change his head. Mm -hmm. But you know, here's another shot of him just to give you an idea. You see him holding the guitar pick there. Yeah. Just to give you an idea of how this kind of looks posed. Mm -hmm. But you know, I kind of like it. Mm -hmm. You know, he is a really iconic character. From Emin Genesis. This is uh, Athena. Asamaya from the King of Fighters Part 14 video game. Mm -hmm. And this is a 1 6th scale figure. 1 6th scale action figure. A lot of hand changes, and that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, she has two portraits. Yeah. I don't know. I do not know if it's a face plate or if it's a head change. Mm -hmm. I'm going to guess it's a face plate because of the way the hair is, because yeah. it's molded hair. Mm hmm. And there's going to be limited articulation with this, obviously. She's got a seamless body, so there's those problems. And then, obviously, you can't turn her head. Mm -hmm. She's $220. $220 for Athena. Executive replicas. I think this is very interesting, but I, I, at, um, you know, I've got my issues with it. I'll get into that. This is obviously Metropolis. And this is the Machina Mench, if I'm pronouncing that properly. Mm -hmm. And that is a one-sixth scale action figure of the iconic robot from the 1927 Metropolis silent film, one of the most famous of the surviving uh, silent films. And it's, um, it's a zinc resin mix, the armor is some kind of zinc resin formula that they cooked up for the armor. Because, you know, um, chrome plating mm -hmm. has a tendency to rub off. Yeah. A lot of statue collectors are starting to come back and complain about that now. They have they bought chrome statues back in the day, and now the finish is coming off on them, mm -hmm. and they don't even touch the things. Well, she comes with the, uh, with the chair and the, um, and the stand, and that's her done up. But this is five hundred, five hundred dollars for a six scale figure, and I'm like, wow, it's pushing the envelope. Well, I guess because you got that armor. Yeah, I suppose. And then it's made out of some different type some of material. Some weird alloy, yeah. yeah than but, normal. Too. But you know, again, that's just part of my whole spiel about how this, you know, the action figures in the adult collectors market, they're really the prices are coming up a lot. Yeah. And I'm like five hundred because I was I looked at it when I first saw it, I was like. You can't do much with it because when you put the armor on it, you're not posing this thing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not going to move. You can see that it's not going to move. Mm -hmm. And I was like, but it's so iconic. It would be cool to get that. And then I'm like, 500 bucks? Holy crap. 
Maybe they're going to sail. Yeah, maybe. Funko, here it comes. Are you I ready for some Funko? Yeah, it's the Frost Bear Five Nights at Freddy. They got the action figure and the plush, and they're Walmart exclusives. Oh, so you'll find you it. can only find these at Walmart. Five Nights at Freddy stuff doesn't sell that great. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you'll find it at Walmart. Yeah. That was their, their most recent announcement, as well as the glow in the dark version of the Dead Mouse figure, of course, Dead Mouse, a DJ. Mm -hmm. And that's on the Funko shop only announced for the Friday release. Nothing else. They've been quiet for almost two weeks now. Because they're going to. They're going to ram you a new one come, um, what's that, Emerald City? Yeah, and Emerald New York City's Toy coming Fair up. And coming yeah, up. STCC, all that stuff. They're going to flood. Yeah, yeah, that's how so it works. They're getting ready. But right around Christmas, I mean, they have a, their, their stock and everything dips in Christmas. They dipped all year last year because of the, the whole coronavirus virus nonsense. But um, that this is usually when they have their quiet time anyway, right mm -hmm. through the holiday. And that's it for Funko. Oh, oh, no, one more thing. Coming this fall, and that's. Sketch only here, Ryan Garcia. He's a boxer. Obviously. I I imagine so. I would hope so. <laughs> hmm. But yeah, more more uh, sports figures. And we'll jump to Hot Toys. Hot Toys with the reissue. Oh, good reissue. They're reissuing another Iron Man, Iron Man Mark Five, and this of course is from the second film. You remember when he had the suit the suitcase? And he stood on the suitcase, and it turned into the suit. You watched the movie. Yeah, but I don't know nothing She's about what She's terrible with it. that. Oh, honey. But yeah, reissue Iron Man Mark V diecast. I don't know for sure if there's anything different between this one and the original version. Well, they say reissue, so yeah. it should be no different. I would think that I don't know. If it was me, I would make a couple of changes somehow. Then it wouldn't be a reissue. For, yeah. Well. I don't know. Reissue. Yeah. yeah. It'll drive the price down on the original one. Good. Then yeah. somebody can get it. Although this is still 360. Die cast. 360 plus tax and shipping. From Kyoto, and I've shown a few Kyotos before, really high, highly posable uh, 1 12th scale figures. A lot of people like working with these because you can get a lot of movement out of them. Mm -hmm. And this is Harley Quinn. They've done Harley before in different colors. This is kind of like a almost a, a metallic look actually yeah. to her outfit blue and red classic she's a hundred and three dollars again 112 scale comes with the stand mm -hmm. uh, faces I think it's a plate change I don't think it's a head change mm -hmm. Harley faces and yeah, her accessories can see the plates. yeah uh, roller skates and some sound effects and hands and tools. And from Kyoto also, Kyoto also, Zootopia figures. Mm -hmm. They've done a few before. I think they're sold out. There's a couple more Zootopias. This one is four inches tall. I don't know if that's counting the ears. The ears are posable. They can rotate. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah. Uh, jointed action figure. She is $66, and this is Judy Hops. Judy Hops. Face plate changes. <laughs> lots, of, lots of changes there. Mm-hmm as well as eye movement, I think. They also did Nick Wilde. Nick Wilde is $69. And I think he's taller. I think he's like six inches. So anybody into Zootopia. And you can turn his ears also to get different, make different expressions, which is a cute idea. Now this is from a company, this is a little uh, different, you know every once in a while I try to introduce something new, mm -hmm. from a company called Lone Coconut. Lone Coconut, and these are plunderlings, and they've issued plunderlings before, it's all sold out. Mm. This is like the second wave, first wave is gone. This is the Berserker Gobbler, and these are, I want to say about four inches tall mm -hmm. so 12 scale again yeah. and they're $40 a piece standard and you see the gobbler and he's head changes with accessories you've got berserker spurt is, is that a video game I or don't I think of... it's an original property okay. I don't think it I don't I'm not sure if it's connected to a game or a, or a a cartoon. Mm. If it is, someone can tell us. Yeah. There's Captain Ash. 
And I think these are they're interesting. They're different. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of jointing on it. I guess you can get some good posability out of them. Captain Teal. I don't know. I'll have to look at his uh, sh uh, slingshot rifle, <laughs> but I don't. I don't know what the packaging looks like on these. Or okay. I would show. I would show you the packaging mm -hmm. if I could. Forearm changes. Feral cheddar, and I guess cheddar is a reference to his skin color there. But feral cheddar with and without mohawk. Again, oh, that's the mohawk like, comes, yeah, off. comes off. In case you don't want that. Again, these are all 40 bucks a piece. And this is the feral Zombone. <laughs> Zombone. <laughs> they're interesting. Yeah, they're, they're, they're different. They're very different. Looks like something you could really army build with, too. Mm -hmm. And Nomad Goyle. A Nomad Goyle. He comes with a frog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's different. Nomad Tough, also with a frog. I guess the nomads get frogs. <laughs> Maybe that's what they eat. <laughs> and Raider Gank, with another slingshot rifle there. Yeah, these are interesting. Yeah, they are. I mean, if you want to do something different, yeah, go in a different direction scale. with yeah. your collection. Back to Mighty Jacks again. And this is Mecha Soul Optimus Prime. And I'm like, Mighty Jax, where's his turntables? Where's his microphone? They, the other two, mm -hmm. Bumblebee and Soundwave, mm -hmm. had turntables and a microphone. How come Mecha Soul Optimus... Maybe he's singing. I know. I don't know what Mecha Soul Optimus is doing. Well, he would have a mic. Mm. He's $359. Oh. I know. It's up there. Mm -hmm. I like how he's got a floppy disk on his right uh, shoulder, or left shoulder, right from our perspective, mm -hmm. but left shoulder. That three and three quarter inch floppy. <laughs> and for PCS collectibles, The Undertaker. Mm. The Undertaker. You were looking forward to this coming out. I was, and when I saw it, I was very disappointed. Yeah. It, it, it didn't look good. It didn't look good at all compared to what they did with um, yeah. The Rock and Ultimate Warrior. Ultimate and Hulk Hogan. And Hulk Hogan. That the uh, face, the, um, what you call it, the portrait, the just portrait. doesn't look good. Um, it's not a good likeness. Even the pose, it's just the, it's a static pose. The other ones are very dynamic. Yeah. And Hulk Hogan, you know, he's in his classic, like, ripping shirt pose, and you can see the veins bulging in his legs and stuff. Mm -hmm. and they looked almost like photographs, even though there is no mixed media here. It's all resin. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I thought in comparison to the other three that they've released, especially the Ultimate Warrior. Yeah, the Ultimate Warrior one yeah. was like, whoa. I mean, he looks like he's going to start sweating right in front of you. <laughs> this, and they're all quarter scale. Mm -hmm. That this was uh, kind of lackluster in comparison. It is, and the, yeah. um, they could have did better with the post. I do like that they came out with a earlier Early version, version of him. Yes, but um, definitely. Just the, the 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 pose is not great. Then they give you you can do the hat change. Yeah, you can take the hat head off. Plate, you know, a head change, but then you got one with the eyes roll back, the eyes yeah. not roll back. That those little things are cool, but just the the face overall uh, doesn't look like him at all. This I don't think they got that at all. Six hundred and fifty, by the way, for the Undertaker here. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, she was like, "Oh, I can't wait! I can't yeah, wait!" I was and actually then... saving up my money for that. I was checking. <laughs> she was I on. I was it. on the wait list or the R RSVP of yeah. whatever list and. Yeah, I just knew I was going to get it, but... Mm -mm. Uh, and there's two versions of this. Yeah. This is the standard, and the second version, as you can see, has purple mixed in with the silver. And that is that is being called the SummerSlam 1994 edition. 
So all basically, they just painted his spats, which are the boot coverings. Yeah, the gloves should be purple. Purple, and the, yeah, the gloves are purple. The hat band and the stripe on the tie is purple, as opposed to it just being flat silver. It's the same price, but there's two versions. And now that you see the portrait up close, yeah. you can see it. It, it just doesn't. You can doesn't... really see the flat, the flat way it's painted and everything. It's, yeah. It just doesn't look good. At all, not to me. Yeah. I mean, maybe yeah, somebody yeah. else sees something different, but... Um, Even the way the tie is sculpted, it looks like it's a piece that was just fitted on the front, doesn't it? It doesn't, you know... Yeah, that part's not all that important. Well, the face just doesn't look good. You know, I mean, they could have gave him an urn or something. Here. Maybe the urn would have <laughs> set it, you know, make you overlook And some give things. it a battery so a light comes out of the urn. Like he, they used to do when they'd open the urn up and the spotlight <laughs> yeah, and would blow light up would out of it, like, out. it like, it, like it had power. But, um, no, no. Yeah. That just didn't... Yeah, it, it, let, you, it let you down. Yeah, because I honestly was waiting on that. I think I said it a couple of times. Yeah. Um, I was really looking forward to it. And then I saw it a day or two ago, and I'm like, is this what they're putting out? <laughs> Undertaker's one of her old school favorites. Yeah. I'll, I like Roddy Piper. Roddy Piper used to crack me up. I like Bob Backlund Bob and the Backlund, Undertaker. Yeah, they was Undertaker. too run neck and neck for me. Well, we'll jump to Sideshow here. Here's mm -hmm. another uh, quarter scale. And this is the Batman Who Laughs. They come up with one of those all the time. Batman Who Laughs, yeah, that's a popular look. Mm. So they do it a lot. And you see he's got the chains hanging. And mm. He's five seventy-five, five hundred and seventy-five dollars mm -hmm. $575. There are two versions. Because if you want to spend a few dollars more, mm -hmm. there's always that option. For five ninety-five, for an extra 20 bucks, you get a hand change. So you can give him that pick. Mm as opposed to just an open hand and a portrait change open and closed mouth what is he a shark how far can you open your mouth mm -hmm. makes me think of the stuff remember the stuff the guy's like no normal person can open his mouth that wide <laughs> yeah, the stuff was good. good stuff was a classic good classic. 80, 80s movie. Yeah, it is. Classic 80s. The stuff and the remake of The Blob was a good 80s one. Mm -hmm. That was fun. Critters. There's some good ones. 80s had a lot of good movies. Mm -hmm. Super 7? Yeah. Super 7, a couple of wrestlers here. And this is Doc Gallows. I like how he comes with a can of uh, beer. I assume it's beer. I don't, we don't watch modern wrestling, so I don't know. Three head changes, multiple hands. These are a standard 45 a piece. Mm -hmm. Pre-orders are up on Super 7. They'll be up for at least 30 days. Yeah, they usually do 30 yeah. days. That's what the packaging should that look looks like. Good. Yeah, it's just that's a computer model, obviously, but just to give you an idea. idea yeah. And that's their new format. All of their boxed figures are looking like this now mm -hmm. with that type of uh, pentag pentagonal packaging and a slip cover. I like how it looks like a ring a little bit. Yeah, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Interesting idea. And then his partner there, Carl Anderson, is the other one. Also 45 up for pre-order, three heads, multiple hands, and a can of whatever they drink. <laughs> and this is from Trick or Treat Studios, and it is a one-sixth scale action figure. It is the cheapest one six scale action figure you're gonna find <laughs> at $120. $120. But I will warn you, do not expect hot toys or sideshow sculpting. You don't know out of that. This. You never bought Take a anything good look at from them. them. Here's a close up of the face. I mean it's not much you can do with Michael Myers. He has on a face mask and that yeah. outfit. That's it, it. And I, a knife. It, Trick or Treat Studios, they kind of make cheap stuff. That's all I'm saying. So it'd be nice if you can see it first. You don't have to take my word for nothing. I don't know anything. But here, take a look at the accessories. You get two extra. Yeah, them hands do look yeah, kind of like a doll, baby. They look meaty. They, yeah, look chunky, they don't look like hands. they have any type of definition in it. These are your only accessories or hand changes. That's all you get. Two, I mean, it's two Michael hands Myers. And a what else knife. are you going to get? Well, I don't know. But the <laughs> the uh, 
super, uh, who is it? Sideshow has one that's twice as expensive, looks a little better, but again, you know, it, it's all a matter of taste. You might can make it work. If you want to get into one six scale, <laughs> that's how you do it. You go get that little cheap one right there for one nineteen. You can find plenty in the aftermarket for a lot less than retail because a lot of them don't hold value very well. Yeah. Unfortunately, for the amount of money that gets sunk into it, mm -hmm. I still got to do that video. There's a lot to say, but that's gonna do it this week, folks. That's all I can show you. Anything there you're interested in? No. Oh. Mm -mm. That's too bad. That's okay though. Yeah, save okay. my money save for something Save your pennies. Else. Save your pennies. There's a show coming up. Save my money. Somebody's gonna <laughs> come out with a Could Arthur be. Fleck um, statue. I'm surprised that you didn't uh, bat your eye at that Beast Kingdom Fantasia Mickey. I do like that, but you know. yeah. Mm -mm. Oh well, thought I'd throw it out Saving there. Saving my pennies because. Hot Toy is going to do a Joker or Arthur Fleck. And oh, yeah, somebody's going to mm -hmm. do an Arthur Fleck statue that's not Queen Studios with $3,000. You know, I'm yeah. waiting on it. Yeah, it'll probably be more. It'll be like half scale or something insane. Because they, they're already all producing like thirds now. Yeah. They, they can only go up from there. They can lot, stay there. A lot of places making one-to-one -one scale, too, especially of those anime uh, figures. You remember that one guy? Mm -hmm. The boxes look like coffins. Mm -hmm. They're huge. Yeah. This is an unboxing of this guy. He gets one-to-one -one scale anime statues. Mm -hmm. They're the gigantic. It. I don't know how he can afford it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Must be nice. Mm -hmm. um, I, I like the Blitzway Inspector Gadget. I used to watch that show. I used to watch it. I used to like Inspector Gadget. It came on before G.I. Joe. I don't know when it came out, but I used to watch <laughs> but, uh, it. Yeah, I used to watch the Inspector Gadget. It was it was a fun show at the time. You I probably seen watched it. Jim. Jim? Mm -hmm. No, I really couldn't get into Jim. <laughs> she was truly outrageous, though. Truly, truly, truly outrageous. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I, I, I do have uh, a soft spot for the original Inspector Gadget, um, voiced by the actor who used to do Get Smart. But um, and then then I'd be sucked into the rabbit hole of getting the penny and the brain, <laughs> <laughs> and of course they are just static figures. They're they're figurines really. Mm -hmm. But I like those. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that. I liked the uh, plunderlings from Lone Coconut, but you know I don't know if I want to jump down that, and plus the the original release, mm -hmm. you can't find them now. They're kind of gone. Mm -hmm. But. I guess I'll hang it up right there. I didn't see anything else I would really want to chase after. And I'll throw it out to you guys. Did you see anything that you liked? Tell us about it in the comment section down below. Did anything catch your eye this week? Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. We hope you did. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you are new. Check out some of our other videos. We do a lot more on this channel besides just show some of the upcoming stuff. We do showcases. We mm -hmm. do tours and reveals. And I've got another... Uh, another catalog I'm gonna do the not a whole lot of people saw it but the people who did mm -hmm. really liked the uh, vintage Toy Fair catalog tours and this one is the 1988 Mattel Toy Fair catalog which I will do a tour of and I'll probably put that up next week okay. page by page <laughs> step by step inch by inch slowly I turned somebody knows what I'm talking about not me yeah, you don't. <laughs> she doesn't know. <laughs> Anyways, th what more can I say? But thanks for watching, and we will see you again soon.